What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with a Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on not enough items. I've gotten quite a few requests on this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that mod tutorial for you guys today. So let me go ahead and hop in my Minecraft world here. Now what this mod does is it's pretty much almost exactly like... Well, I can't really say it's exactly like, because there are a lot of different features than too many items. But it's similar to too many items... But this one's different in that it'll show you different recipes and um, it'll show you like the ref crafting recipes for different items and a few other features as well. So let me go ahead and hop my worlds here and I will show you how this mod works. So just like in too many items, you go ahead and just hit E, open up your inventory, and you can see we have not enough items here. Now, just like too many items, we do have the delete mode, we have turn on, on rain and snow. Uh, we have creative mode, which is off. We go ahead and turn that on. Or actually, no. Yeah, I had creative mode on. So now if I go ahead and press this, now I turn the creative mode. Now the creative mode's on. There we go. So this is to turn creative mode on and off. I'm just getting all jumbled up. Um, this is a magnetic mode. I'll go ahead and show you what this does in a little bit. And of course, we have the set time to dawn, which is sunrise. So the sun should be coming up over there now then we have set time to noon moon or sun will be directly in the middle of the sky then we have set time to dusk sun setting and then midnight and then the moon will be in the middle of the sky we also have a heal the player so if you have a damage you can just go ahead and click on this and it will restore your health and I believe your hunger uh, fully as well um, to save loadouts, so I have a sword in here. If I want to go ahead and just sit, save one and then just delete this sword and then just go ahead and hit load one, you can see it pulls this sword back into my inventory. So if you're going along and you have a lot of items that you want to save and you're afraid you might die, say, in a cave system or like that, then you go ahead and just save that loadout. And if you do happen to die, you can go ahead and just give your stuff back. Um, now, another thing that is really cool about this mod is if you hit X, it'll bring up an enchantment thing, and you can take your diamond sword or whatever other um, tool or weapon you're using, place it in here. Now, you do have a locked enchantment and an unlocked enchantment. I'll go ahead and show you the locked. If you go ahead and click on one of these sharpness, you can see you will not be able to select these, but if you have unlocked, you can go ahead and select as much stuff as you want. You also can go through the different levels of course 1 through 10 so I'll go ahead and put on level 10 and we'll have it on unlocked and you can select all of these different features for enchanting and you can go crazy and just have a insane weapon so there we go you can see the list is so long it doesn't even fit on my screen so there's that and if you go ahead and come up here and hit next you can see we do have all the different mobs um, that you will be able to spawn out of these spawners so you can't you don't just have to spawn pigs um, so you can do that now to do different crafting recipes to see how to craft certain things you go ahead and hit R when you're hovering above an item and it'll show you how to create that or if you're going to use say something like a mushroom where's a mushroom at come on mushrooms where are you at I know you're here somewhere where are they at? I'm lost. Mushrooms. This will be a good time to show you the search feature down here. So if I type in mushroom, here we go. We have our mushrooms. And if you hit U, oh, didn't mean to do that. Hit enter. We have mushroom. If you hover above something like a mushroom and hit U, it'll show you its uses. And um, so you have your shaped crafting and all that sort of stuff, uh, shapeless crafting. And it'll show you all of the different recipes that are in here. Now you can also go down to options and select um, cheat mode or recipe mode. And when you're in recipe mode, it'll show you all the different recipes, including mods. <coughs> excuse me. Items that are added by mods will be in here as well. And then we also have the different loadouts and all that sort of stuff. Um, we can, You can disable not enough items from here. Oh, I need to take it out of recipe mode. We have utility mode, 
which will have the uh, magnet mode on and then the um, items and as well as the recipe mode and then of course the cheat mode is what we were originally on um, so I'm gonna go ahead and escape out of this and I'll turn on magnet mode and then I'll go ahead and give myself um, just a whole bunch of random items and then I'll go ahead and toss these out everywhere let me go ahead and fly first just so I don't pick them up so that's what magnet mode does you can see that they're flying up here all the way from down there and I believe even if, even if I come way over here and toss them out they will still make their way over to me from there so that is the magnet mode um, I believe that is all the different features that um, are in this mod that aren't in too many items um, correct me if I'm wrong but that's pretty much it that is different in this from too many items so very cool mod in my opinion I do like too many items a little bit more than this because it's a little bit more simple this one you have to use uh, different key codes and stuff like that to use some of the features so that is the not enough items mod I now need to clear up my minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod okay so what you are gonna need to install this mod is some sort of archive program such as winrar 7 zip or winzip all of these archiving programs will pretty much work the same exact way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinR in this tutorial. You will then need to download Minecraft Forge, the Code Chicken Core, and the Not Enough Items itself. So to download these three files, I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. You will be downloading the Code Chicken Core and the Not Enough Items from the same page, which is this page right here. But you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see the Code Chicken Core right here and then just go ahead and click on show and then you want to go ahead and click on download but don't actually click on it go ahead and right click the download link and then go ahead and select open in to new tab and this will open us up to an ad focus ad, ad fo focus is a revolutionary nope. new way of making money on the internet from sharing links on facebook twitter or youtube simply sign up below share links and earn money Okay, thank you, random voice. So, there you go. That's what ad fuck folk us is. Okay, anyways, you want to go ahead and just click on skip right here, and it will automatically download the mod. Sorry about that. That was really random and weird. But anyways, so once you download the code chicken core, you want to go ahead and go and show the not enough items, and then go ahead and come down to instructions plus downloads, and click on show again. And then you want to go ahead and click on the download link. This time you can go ahead and just click on it because we don't have to stay on that page. And it again will say, please wait five seconds. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip add. Not a yellow button, just a button that says skip. Go ahead and click on that and we'll automatically download the mod. So that is how to download the chicken mod. Not the chicken mod, the chicken core. The code chicken core and not enough items. Now for the Minecraft Forge, you want to go ahead and come over to the main Forge download. And this will be the recommended version, which will be the uh, most recent version, so it'll work better with Minecraft. And you can either download it from AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind, downloading it from AdFly will help support the mod creator. Uh, make sure you are downloading the universal version. From, so, again, download it from either one. Just make sure you download the universal version, not the source. So that is how to download all of the files you will need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent at data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, open your dot Minecraft, then open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now go ahead and minimize your bin because we'll be coming back to it later on in the tutorial. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. And you're going to want to put all of these files into your Minecraft jar. And the easiest way to do that would be to hold control, then hit A. And that will highlight everything. And you want to drag it all into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Minecraft Forge. Now, in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder, that's OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you are always deleting MetaInf for installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. 
and you should have minimized your bin so go ahead and bring that back up and go ahead and hit back so we're back in the dot minecraft folder now you're going to need a core mods folder in your dot minecraft folder now you can either just create one yourself which is the easiest way or you can go ahead and start up minecraft now that you have minecraft forge installed and then come back to your dot minecraft folder because that will create a core mods folder for you but like i said the easiest way is just create one yourself so go ahead and right click in your dot minecraft folder go down to new then select folder this will of course create a new folder which we will which we will rename core mods so just c o r e m o d s no capitalizations so once you have your core mods folder go ahead and open that up and simply drag the code chicken core and not enough items jar files into the core mods folder now go ahead and close that down and that's it you're done installing the mod so I hope this video helps you guys out thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time